as the general rapporteur on the rights of LGBTI people at the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, I would like to share a few thoughts with you. Throughout 2017 and 2018, we have seen a setback in the situation of the daily life of many LGBTI people in Europe. Not only the right to security and liberty, but also the freedom of expression and the freedom of assembly have come under pressure. Stating that these values are at the center of our political activities at the assembly is an understatement, but without the help of many others, our efforts should be or would be pointless. Therefore, on this International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia, I would like to express my gratitude to all human rights defenders who continue their efforts to promote and protect the human rights of the LGBTI community, even when it puts their own comfort and safety under stress. I had the privilege of meeting many of them over the past year, and I really admire their professionalism and their persistence. Second, I would like to call to all politicians and decision makers to fully understand the importance of an inclusive society. And when defending the rights of the LGBTI community, we never ask for special rights, but we can't turn a blind eye to the infringements of the basic rights of the LGBTI community, a community that still is, in many ways, a vulnerable one. And last but not least, I would like to pay tribute to all victims, both known and unknown, of transphobia and homophobia. And yes, dear friends, I do believe in an equal society, a society where every single LGBTI person can achieve her or his full achievement. And therefore, we should uh, continue our efforts to establish a society where all LGBTI people can say proudly and without any fear, yes, I am gay, or yes, I am lesbian, I am queer, I am transgender, I am intersex, this is who I am. And therefore, I wish you all a very pleasant and a successful Idaho Day.